Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. About now, children are bringing home pilgrim hats and turkeys made out of construction paper and maybe making lists of things they're thankful for. But it's up to us to make sure they understand the full context of what exactly happened back around 1620. We are the pilgrims. Now, they were not called the pilgrims back when this whole thing started. England would not allow these Christians to live out their faith the way they wanted to. They were told to fall in line with the government's view of religion. If not, they could be taken to court, fined, or even imprisoned. We are the pilgrims. So some of them packed up and moved to Holland. Now, things were generally better there. But then they watched as the culture began to draw their children away from the Christian faith they were learning at home. We are the pilgrims. So then they booked that trip on the Mayflower, a cargo ship, not really designed for passengers. Think of it as a floating tractor trailer being tossed about by a stormy ocean. It was Spartan, it was rough, but it eventually got them here to the new world. We are the pilgrims. They signed the Mayflower Compact saying they were united in this undertaking for the glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith. Its simple framing of democracy would inform the U.S. Constitution more than 150 years later. We are the pilgrims. They learned about human behavior, that if the colony took what each one produced and shared it with everyone else, well, it brought out the very worst in human beings. The colony only succeeded once it allowed each family to have their own property and enjoy the benefits of their own labor. We are the pilgrims. So, after having government trample on their God-given rights, after seeing their children wooed away by a decadent culture, after a treacherous ocean voyage, a harsh winter, after learning how imperfect human beings function as a group, after all that, they held a feast to celebrate, and they thanked God for His providence. We are the pilgrims. It was only after Christian faith was turned into action and after it was applied to real life troubles and after they endured hardship while giving thanks that they became known as the Pilgrims. We are the Pilgrims. <laughs>